All right. Now, what I would like for you guys to do first is to mute your devices. Please mute your device. Thank you, EJ. Okay. Thank you, Cordell. Mute your device. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about, guys, today, we're going to review. We're going to do a little language. We're going to review what we did last week, and then we're going to talk about our new lesson, okay? Now, last week, we talked about We talked about the four kinds of sentences. Now remember with our four kinds of sentences, you think of the acronym DIE. Um, D stands for declarative, which is a statement. I, interrogative, you have two I's. Interrogative, which is a question. Imperative, which is a command, which we teachers love, the imperative sentences. And exclamatory, which is my personal favorite. Then of those four kinds of sentences, you have three different types which our goal as fifth graders is to write with more compound and complex. You have simple sentences, which would be just one independent clause. You have a subject, which Dr. King, okay? You have a subject, which is Dr. King, and then you have a predicate, which is led protests and marches, which you have one independent clause, just a subject and predicate. Complex sentences is that you have two parts. One is dependent, cannot stand alone, and one is independent, which can stand alone. You join these two parts of the sentences together with a comma. While fighting for equality, comma, African Americans were threatened, beat, and even killed. And then you have compound, which with compound sentences, you have two complete sentences, two independent clauses, but they're joined with a conjunction. Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on the bus, comma, and that's my conjunction there, and she sparked the Montgomery bus boycott. Both of those two complete sentences, subject, predicate, subject, predicate, they can stand alone, but you join them together with that comma and the conjunction and. So we looked at die, the four kinds of sentences, and then simple compound and complex. But today, our new lesson is gonna focus on capitalization, capitalizing. Now, when we, th and two things we're gonna do capitalizing and using the race strategy, okay? Now, when we think of capitalizing, think of mint. So think of a mint. When you think of the word mint, just an easy acronym to remember the things that you should capitalize. M stands for months, days, holidays. Example, January, Monday, Christmas, 4th of July. Any special day, you need to capitalize. I, in the word meant, stands for the pronoun I. Um, you always have to capitalize the pronoun I. Then you have N. N stands for names. Names of people, places, things. Anything that's proper, you need to capitalize. Proper adjectives as well, um, like Disney, Oak Hill Elementary, um, Oak Hill Boulevard. So anything that's a, um, the name of something, of uh, something specific, okay? T stands for titles, titles of anything, titles of books, movies, articles, newspapers, poems, any title, etc. It's like um, the title of Goodbye Vietnam. And then S, always start a sentence with a capital letter. We went to the store. You always have to capitalize um, the beginning of a sentence, we. Okay, so when you think of capitalization, think of mints. M stands for months, days, holidays, I, the pronoun I, in names of people, places, things, anything that's proper, specific, and T, titles, any type of titles, titles of books, movies, poems, etc., and S, starting a sentence, okay? Now, we're also going to look at a writing skill, which is the race strategy with constructed responses, and we all know what the race strategy is. R stands for Restate, you have to restate the question because you always want to use it in a complete sentence, okay? Restate the question. A stands for answer. C, cite. Rule of thumb, I always like to cite two pieces of evidence from the passage to make sure that you are able to answer the question and cite it and support it thoroughly, citing. Now, when you're citing evidence, you can use sentence starters such as the text states, according to the text, 
You can also quote it, direct quotes by putting it in quotes directly from the passage, or you can paraphrase. Paraphrase means to put in your own words. And E stands for explain. You always wanna explain what you actually cited. Um, and some sentence starters for explaining would be, this shows that, or this means that. So to summarize, we're gonna look at our skills today, capitalization, um, capitalize all important words. Um, and when we think of capitalization, we wanna use the acronym MENTS. M stands for months, days, holidays. I, the pronoun I, in names of all proper things, specific places, T, titles, S, start of a sentence, and the race strategy. Restate, answer, cite, two pieces of evidence, whether you're quoting or paraphrasing, and explain those two pieces of evidence that you actually cited. So we're gonna look at the race strategy. We're gonna look at the race strategy. We're also gonna look at capitalization. And you know what we're gonna do today? we're going to make a million dollars so listen i'm going to take over your screen i'm going to share um just a quick little flip chart that i have and we'll play a game keep your devices muted thank you okay now when we are looking at when we are looking at capitalization i just want to go over a couple of things as well when we are looking at capitalization, first, you want to begin every sentence with a capital letter, and that was the S. You would like to also, next, please do not write on my flip chart. Thank you. Is that you, Cordell? Okay. Okay, Cordell. I don't even know how to do that. Okay, Cordell. Someone's doing it. Thank you. That was me. Okay. okay then that was me. Okay. Thank you, guys. Are y'all still <laughs> tuning in? Okay. Mute your device, Cordell. Thank you, love. We are being okay. Honest peoples. Okay. Now I'm gonna start over. When we're looking at conventions for capitalization, you're gonna begin every sentence with a capital letter. The next bullet says you're going to begin each part of a person's name with a capital letter, including titles used as part of the name and the initials. Next bullet, you're going to begin words that name days, months, holidays, and places with a capital letter. Do not capitalize the name of seasons. Next, begin abbreviations of proper nouns with a capital letter. Next, Capitalize the first word, last word, and every important word in a title. That's in my mints. Also capitalize the word I. That's also in my mints. Now, the last one was not a part of the mints acronym, but you always want to capitalize a direct quotation is the exact words that someone says. In a written conversation, you want to begin the first word of a direct quotation with a capital letter. So when you're directly, remember when we're citing evidence from our passage or when we're using any type of direct, direct quote, you have to capitalize the first letter within that quote, direct quotation. Always has to be capitalized. Do this even if the quotation mark starts after the beginning of the sentence, okay? So you always want to use capitalization correctly. It's very important. Okay, so are we ready to review? Mm -hmm. Let's play a million, let's get a million dollars. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on you guys to actually answer. Are we ready? How are you, Miss Anderson? I'm good, Miss Dowdy. How are you? It's wonderful. And how are you, Miss Saunders? I am fabulous. Ready for the game. What okay. ready for the dollars? Let's go. Let's get this party started. Okay. First one will be Taylin. Taylin. I just had to be the first one. Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis. 
How would I write that sentence correctly? Let's look. Is it A, Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis? Is it B, the sentence is correct? Is it C, Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis? Or is it D, Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis? Kaylin, which one is correct? I'm gonna say A. A, is that your A. final answer? Can you share your yeah. screen, Miss Dowdy? Can you share your screen so we can see? Um, it's, you don't see it? Because I, I thought I did share it. No, ma'am. Yeah, it's just like in the okay. conventions thing. We can't okay. see. All right, got it. Under. All right. Let's try again. Can y'all see it now? Nope. Okay. okay now we yeah. Yes, y'all yes, can. can. Yes. Okay, so y'all can, can see, see it now. now. Okay, so let me start over. Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis. Taylor, is it A? Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis. B, the sentence is correct. C, Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis. Or D, Laura's teacher's name is Miss Lewis. D. D. Why is it D, Taylor? Because, well, my old answer, A, the T in teacher was capitalized, and that's not supposed to be capitalized. Okay, the, t the word teacher should not be capitalized. And what else, Taylor? What should be capitalized and why? Um, Miss and Lewis and Laura, because Be they're proper nouns. Very good. Okay, let's see. Very good. Good job, Taylor. All right, Matthew, are you ready for number two? Okay. Come on, Matthew. Number two, they get up early every day to skate. Look carefully at what should be capitalized. Is it A, they get up early every day to skate, which they and they capitalize. B, the sentence is correct. C, they get up early every day to skate, which skate is capitalized, or D, they get up early every day to skate, and they is capitalized. Which one is it, Matthew? Matthew? Is it A, B, C, or D, Matthew? He answered it in the chat, Miss Dowdy, I think. Oh, all right. Let's see what Matthew said. All right. You said D. Let's see, Matthew. Hold on, guys. Let me get that out of the way. Good job, Matthew. Number three. Let's see. See, let me call on someone else. Zion, are you ready? Please don't write on the screen, guys. Zion, are you ready? All right, my family went to Disney World last May. My family went to Disney World last May with Disney World and my being capitalized. B, sentence is correct. C, my family went to Disney World last May. My and May capitalized. And D, my family went to Disney World last May. My, Disney World, and May capitalized. What do you think, Zion? D. D. Mm -hmm. Good job. Why, Zion? Can you tell me why? Because the um, first letter of the sentence was capitalizing the name of the place. The name of the place and what else was capitalized at the, the very um, end? The month. The very month. good. The month. Excellent. Okay. Jackson, do you want to do the next one? Jackson, are you ready? Yes. All right, Jax. Last July, our family went to England for a visit. Last July, our family went to England for a visit. Is it A? Last July, our family went to England for a visit. Last July and family capitalized? Is it B? Last July, our family went to England for a visit. Last July, family and A capitalized. B, last July, our family went to England for a visit. 
last July in England or sentence is correct? What do you think, Jackson? C. Let's look at C. Last July, our family went to England for a visit. Why, Jackson? Because um, the beginning of a sentence has to be capitalized and okay. July is a month and it has to be capitalized too. And England is like a place, so it has to be capitalized too. Good job. Okay, we're at 32,000. Before bed, I read to my little brother. Let's see, come on, Quinn. Quinn, are you ready? All right, Quinn. Is the sentence correct? Or is it B, before bed, I read to my little brother. Before and I, capitalize. Before bed, I read to my little brother. Before and brother, capitalize. Or before bed, I read to my little brother. Before I and little brother, capitalize. What do you think? I think it's maybe B. B? Why? Because you have to capitalize the beginning of the sentence and you have to capitalize I. Okay, beginning of the sentence and I. Very good. Please take that off of the screen, guys. Thank you. Next, let's see who's ready. Are you ready, Travis? Travis, are you ready? I see your hand up. Yes. Their favorite place to visit is the White Mountains. Okay, look at that one carefully. Is it A, their favorite place to visit is the White Mountains, with only there and mountains capitalized. Their favorite place to visit is the White Mountains with just there capitalized. C, their favorite place to visit is the White Mountains, which there and white, or D, the sentence is correct. What do you think, Travis? E. Why? Because there is the beginning of the sentence and White Mountains is a name. Very good, guys. Okay, we're at 128,000. Let's see, our neighbor is Mr. J.M. Chira. Um, so Cordell, our neighbor is Mr. J.M. Chira, our Mr. and Chira, capital S. B, our neighbor is Mr. J.M. Chira, which Mr., which M and the R, J and Chira. Sentence is correct, or our neighbor is Mr. J. M. Chira, which is Mr. J. M. and Chira. Which one is correct, Cordell? I forgot to unmute myself. Okay, which one, Cordell? I. I... What do you think? Do you need some help, Cordell? Yeah. Would you like to ask Miss Saunders? Yes. Okay, Miss Saunders. Saunders. Go ahead, Cordell. Miss Saunders, may you help me on this question? You need me to be your lifeline? I can be your lifeline. <laughs> I think it's D because our has to be capitalized. The word Mr. has to be capitalized. The J and the M have to be capitalized, and the C in Chira has to be capitalized because it's his name. What do you think? Do you think so? Okay, Cordell. I, you have yeah, to get. Yeah, I answer? think it's D. You think it's D? Why, yeah. Cordell? Um, because our is supposed to be capitalized, and and the name is capitalized, and. Is that J M supposed to be capitalized though? Yes. Why? Because, because that's, his name. that's his name. That's his name. That's his initials. Very good. Well, let's see. Yay! Yay. Good job. We're at twenty five hundred. All right. Let's see. Zakaya. 
Would you like to answer one? Zakaya? Yes. Very good. I want you, Zakaya, and Heaven to do this one together. Heaven, are you there? Yes. Okay, so Zakaya and Heaven, I want y'all to answer this one together. The airplane flew across the Atlantic Ocean. Is it A, the airplane flew across the Atlantic Ocean with airplane, Atlantic Ocean, and the, the airplane flew across the Atlantic Ocean, the, and Atlantic Ocean, sentence is correct, or D, the airplane flew across the Atlantic Ocean with just D and Atlantic. Zakaya and Heaven, what do y'all think? Um, A. Okay, I hear B and I hear A. Y'all need to discuss it. What's the difference in B and A? Um, airplane, airplane isn't capitalized. Ah, so does airplane need to be capitalized? No. No, it doesn't. Nope. So, so is it A or is it B? B. B. Now, if it was a specific name of the airplane, like um, Delta, would it be capitalized? Yes. Delta. Yeah. Yes, okay, so y'all think the correct answer is B? What else? Why? Atlantic, Ocean. Atlantic Ocean, very good. So let's see. Yay, 500,000 guys, we're almost there. Sydney, are you ready? Yes. Okay, and Skyla, are you there? Yes. All right, so Alex walked her dog, Barney, through Central Park last Tuesday. Please do not write on my screen. So let's look. Alex walked her dog, her dog Barney, through Central Park last Tuesday. Alex, Barney, Central Tuesday. Alex walked her dog, Barney, through Central Park last Tuesday, which is Alex, Barney, Central Park, and Tuesday. Sentence is correct. Or Alex walked her dog, Barney, through Central Park last Tuesday. Alex, Central Park, Tuesday. Give me one to eliminate, um, Skylar. Um, Could we use a hint? Give me one to eliminate first, Skylar. C. Okay, we know the sentence is not correct, okay? So it's either A, B, or D. Skylar and Sydney, what do y'all think? B. Okay, B. Why? Because it capitalized Central Park in Barney in Tuesday. And Alex. Why Alex? Because that's um, the person's name. But it's also what? At the beginning of the sentence. Yes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Good job. Okay, last one. Last one. I need two people. I need Amber. Amber? Me. Yes, ma'am. Amber, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Amber, Amber. Amber, you call on a partner. You call on me. someone. Who do you want to help you? Only one person. Me. Who would you like to call on, Amber? Heaven. All right, Heaven, are you there? Yes. This is the million dollar question. If we get this one wrong. We watched the fireworks on the 4th of July. Cordell, mute your computer. We watched I the fireworks. I my iPad, but okay. All right. We watched the fireworks on the 4th of July. Okay. Sentence is correct. A, we watched the fireworks on the 4th of July. Uh-uh, <laughs> please don't write on it. They're going to do this. We watched the fireworks on the 4th of July. So the what's capitalized there is July. C, we watched the fireworks on the 4th of July, which we, and that's it. And D, we watched the fireworks on the 4th of July. So it's we, 4th of July. What do you think, girls? It's D. 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 It's D. D. Why? Because 4th because is fourth capitalized is in July. But yeah. why is of not capitalized? Because it's um, because it's not it's, 
it's not a what word um important it's not important very good and what else is capitalized um july we we why because it's the beginning of the sentence mm -hmm. beginning of the sentence so y'all want me to click d yes is that your final answer i think yes or no is it your final yes yes yes, yes. yes. We won a million dollars. Excellent. I had to express it out loud because it meant we like I won a million dollars. Good job. Yay. Now, I am awesome so job. Proud. Good job. Now, remember, capitalization is very important. You have to capitalize all of your important words. And remember, the word mints can help you. That acronym mints can help you. M for months, days, holidays. I, the pronoun I. N, name of people, places, things, anything that's proper, T for any title. S, the beginning of a sentence, the start of a sentence, but then also with direct quotes, um, we want to do that. Now we're going to look at the race strategy, and then we'll finish up. And this is it, okay? We're going to look at the race strategy. I'm going to show you an example, um, and I did have a sample that I just wanted us to talk through, and that's it, and we'll be done, okay? Oh, I don't think I, oh, yes, I did record. Okay. okay, now, go back to my flip chart. I'm going to share my screen. Can you all see it? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Now, yep. now, remember the race strategy. Mm -hmm. The race strategy, you restate the question. You A, answer the question, for instance, you restate, you, for restate, you restate or reword the question and you turn it into a statement. A, you answer the question. Think about it, what's being asked? You gotta answer all parts of the question. Then you have to cite the ev <laughs> cite evidence or cite the source. Tell where you found the examples or the details in the text. Um, in paragraph two, the text states, the author says, according to the text, and then explain your response. Like when you give your evidence um, from the text, you want to actually explain it. Explain it to support your answer and add your thoughts. For example, this shows that, <laughs> this means that, I believe. <laughs> okay, please mute your computers. So I'm gonna look at an example. I'm on space. Okay, well, I'm gonna look at an example, and then we're gonna look at what the the citing of the F, the race strategy answer is okay lions live together in social groups called prides most of the lions in a pride are females in their cubs the lionesses share their work of hunting and raising cubs by hunting in a pack lions can take down animals far larger than themselves. Much of the food killed by a pride is taken by the males, and in return, they provide protection from other lions. A pride has a well-defined territory, which is marked by the males. When lions in a pride meet, they greet one another by head rubbing, licking, and grooming. It's endearing to watch them. Now, according to this article, is it important for lions to live as a pride? That's the question. So your first part of your race strategy, you want to restate that question. Is it important for lions to live in a pride? That's the question. When you restate it, you're just going to take that question and turn it into a statement. It is important for lions to live as a pride. Now I want to answer it because they depend on one another for survival. Now I'm ready to cite evidence from my passage. For example, the article states, the lioness share the work of hunting and raising cubs. That came straight from the article. Look here. The lionesses share the work of hunting and raising cubs. Came straight from the passage. And male lions, I'm quoting another part of the article, provide protection from other lions. Look here, in return, they provide protections from other lions. Came straight from the passage. They, um, that's, I'm citing two pieces of evidence from the passage. 
Now I'm gonna explain this evidence that I cited. They also work together when they hunt large prey. By sharing responsibilities as a pride, they will be able to survive a long time. So let's look at this again. You wanna restate the question. The question is, is it important for lions to live as a pride? Restate, it's important for lions to live as a pride. Answer, because they depend on one another for survival. You wanna cite evidence. For example, the article states, you could have even said, according to the text, it states, the lionesses share the work of hunting and raising cubs and male lions. Now I could even put that into two pieces of evidence. The text also states that the male lions provide protection from other lions. They also work together when they hunt larger prey. Then I'm ready to explain. This means that, or this shows that, by sharing responsibilities as a pride, they will be able to survive for a very long time, okay? Now, what I'm gonna put on our Google site is this passage that I have here. This is an excerpt from Goodbye Vietnam. And you're gonna use this, the race strategy, to answer this question. This is a, the excerpt. It says, my family must be allowed to come with me, father said. The man nodded. The people knew what my father was and wanted, was wanted for and drew aside to allow us to pass. As I hurried after my parents, I saw the frightened look on Kim's face. Without thinking of what I was doing, I reached out. I grabbed Kim's hand, pulling her with us. Kim's mother understood. She picked up her bundle and she hurried after our family. A man guarding the entrance to the boat pointed to Kim and Boxy Hong. Who are they? He asked me. I don't know where I found the courage, but I said, my aunt and my cousin. Well, move quickly, he said. Now, using the race strategy to answer the following questions, why were Kim and her mom able to get on the boat? Now, if we know that if Mai had not have said, this is my aunt and my cousin, would they have been able to enter the boat? Think of this question when you're citing two pieces of evidence from this excerpt cite two pieces of evidence. So I want to know why were Kim and her mom able to get on the boat? Now, Taylor, how would I, Taylor, can you please unmute Taylor? How would I restate that as a question? How would I restate that? Kim and her mother were able to get on the boat because... Very good. Why were they able to get on the boat? Zion, why were they able to get on the boat? Zion, why were they able to get on the boat? Zion? Naomi, why were they able to get on the boat? Because, um, because she let she said that they're her aunt and cousin. Very good. So you restate it and you answer. How do I, how can I cite evidence from this? How can I cite evidence from this passage? Can you see any evidence here, Skylar? Can you see any evidence? According to the passage, what did it state? Skylar? Skylar, are you able to tell me? Can you hear me? Okay, so Skylar, unmute your um, device, babe. Because I can't hear you. Can you unmute? I'll unmute you. Okay, go ahead, Skylar. What was the question? Okay, the question is, can I cite piece of, two pieces of evidence? First of all, I restate it. Taylor, restate You're lagging. It. I'm sorry. Can you hear me, babe? You're lagging. Oh, you can't hear me? Mm -mm. When you were saying it, I couldn't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. 
Okay, so the question was, Skylar, um, Taylor restated the question, why, was, why were Kim and her mom able to get on the boat? Taylor said Kim and her mom were able to get on the boat because Naomi said the answer, Naomi said because Mai said that they were her aunt and her cousin. So we're going to cite some evidence from the passage. According to the passage, can you cite any piece of evidence from the passage? Were you able to look at the passage, Starla? Can you, did you hear me read it? Yes. Okay. I heard can, some of it. Okay, can you give me a piece of evidence from the passage? Um. According to the passage, what did Mai do? She, she said um, that they were her cousin and aunt. Okay, so she said that they were her aunt and her cousin. And what else did she do? She um, held Kim's hand. Yes, yeah, she grabbed her hand and she pulled them with her, didn't she? Yes. Yes. And when she did that, Quintavious, when she did that, what did Kim and her mother do? Do you see it? What did Kim and her mother do? They picked up their what? They picked up their um their bun their um bundles and hurried after their our family. Yes, yeah, so they picked up their things and they went along with mine. So they were actually pretending to be their relatives as as well. Because if they didn't do that, would they have been able to get on the boat? No. No, they probably wouldn't have been able to get on the boat. So it took a lot of courage for her to do that. But what we did, guys, we went through that great strategy. We actually restated, we answered, we looked and cited two pieces of evidence from the passage. But then you also want to explain that. So what I'm going to do is just put this on our Google document just for practice if you want to do it. Um, it's not going to be a requirement, but just for you to get practice with working on the race strategy. Okay? All right. Now, we're about to end. We're about to end, guys. I just want to summarize. I just would like to summarize, guys, what we're talking about today. Today we looked at, um, we reviewed the kinds of sentences with die and simple compound and complex. We looked at capitalization months, months, days, holidays, pronoun I, names of people, places, things, titles, starting a sentence, and direct quotes. Um, so we looked at capitalization, but then we also looked at the race strategy, restate, answer, cite, and explain. Okay, do we have any questions, guys? Ms. Anderson, do we have, and Ms. Saunders, do y'all have any questions or comments? No. Go ahead. Mm, I don't have any, no. No, I think that was a wonderful, I think that was a wonderful lesson, Ms. Dowdy. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Students, y'all have any questions? I am a galaxy. Nope. Any questions? Guys, y'all did really great today. Yes, you um, did. I'm, I'm very proud of how attentive you guys were today as well. Um, I do want to let you all know that the videos that I did today will be uploaded this evening um, on YouTube as well. Um, stop my recording.